Sui Lalo with the Ice Hound gotta be my favorite army to use in Legends League so let's dive in and see how this strategy works on diamond bases, box bases and also ring bases so without any further ado let's go. Alright, we're here on the first base and that is gonna be a ring base. Now guys, I actually have two ring bases for you today so you can take a look at why do we use a flame flinger and why do we choose to go with a blimp. So on this attack, I'm actually gonna use the flame flinger. Yes, don't worry, I'm gonna switch it up. But why do I do that is because the core is reachable with the loons. So we're gonna dive in, kind of tank this mortar but first test for your flame flinger. I'm gonna tank the mortar with my king and then one thing I'm gonna do is to place that skelly spell with the Sui dive. Sometimes if you're diving into a lot of damage, this skelly spell could be used with your main Sui, but sometimes you can keep it for your royal champion for the back end. Now as you saw, we funnel the king to go in with the queen and now that wall break gives them both access to the next layer of this base. But take a look at my next wall break, going deep to try to give this king access to the town hall. It doesn't matter if he doesn't get the town hall or it does. It's just access, all right? That's basically it. Because with the gauntlet, you basically have the chance of getting the town hall anyway, but still. Now, I'm gonna start the Lalo right now. I'm not looking to see what happens with my Sui. Poison spell for the clan castle and also my queen going through ability. This is where we start another portion of Lalo with that hound inside the warden ability, putting some loons on the lower side and take a look at the top side loons. Those are the ones that will reach the town hall. So what I'm gonna do is haste and clone and rage that group which are close to the town hall. One more group of Lalo on the right side to try to narrow down our main attack. Now, flame finger also up, we have champion on full HP, everything looking so smooth because we had spells to use with our Lolo. Now, if you want to put that in perspective, we Loloed a lot of this base actually, but in general, it was always about the pathing, the way the flame finger gave funnel to the king, the way the king and queen gave funnel to the royal champion, and the way the royal champion set a nice funnel for the Lalo. Simple as that, let's move on to the box base and see how that is going to be taken out. Okay, up next we have a box base and guys, on the box bases there is a plenty of them, but I'm gonna try my best to explain um, the Sui Lalo the best way I can. So the moment you see a big compartment with a few major defenses, you need to immediately think of your king's gauntlet. That's when you're gonna send the king into that area and especially on this base, as you can see the multi inferno compartment on the right hand side, they also give us the CC, which it's a really good thing if you can pull the CC with your Sui and especially of course, kill the CC. So one thing we're gonna do is just that. Again, king to go a bit separated from the queen on this attack. I'm dropping that skelly spell. I know there is a multi inferno, but still it can do some nice tanking for us. Queen, I like to have that frozen arrow with her. It really helps out a lot, guys. Trust me on those Sui kills. Now, this is where I pop the king and add the royal champion. Something you have not seen maybe recently with a lot of Lolo attackers that they put the royal champion with their own Lolo. You can also do that. But sometimes, as you can see, the CC was not going to be taken out. That super dragon would have melted us and that's why we added the champion to get those value in the core and also kill the CC. We're gonna go with a small Lolo to kind of get this small area of the base. Then this major group comes with the Ice Hound and that's when we're gonna actually choose the blimp, drop our headhunters and get ready for a juicy warden ability trying to also catch that ice hound nicely so later it can freeze and this is where you need to rage but look at my rage it's in a way to cover the yetis that are going to come out and also cover the loons or the royal champion that will be getting added to that area a nice little clone on the right hand side unfortunately we cloned the hound so try not to do that but still we're gonna have hay spells to go through these areas and look at how many loons we have left we basically put the town hall on one of the last things to go down and well it worked out really nicely for us so you saw the king's value you saw the queen two different compartments adding the champion 
in between them to get the value and also kill the clan castle move them through the core and help the lolo path thing a lot let's move on to another ring base that i told you about and we're gonna see what happens with the blimp up next we of course have that ring base i was talking about and guys you see this type of base a lot okay so what is the general plan is that you want to send the sui into an area where you can tank with skellies at the same time your sui will stay alive you're gonna see what i mean by the end of the attack with that sentence okay so we're gonna have some small funnel on the right hand side with a baby drag and a few wounds because of the tesla and now this is where i actually mess up the sui slightly okay but it doesn't matter do not panic okay i didn't panic and kept it cool i really wanted the king and queen to go in and then i wanted the queen to kind of get separated and give me the multi inferno but look at the way these buildings are placed she actually going to keep walking out so that inferno will be left up but one thing i didn't do is to sit down and watch my sui i popped the king i know the queen is safe the king got me the value and now i'm gonna actually add the royal champion into the area which we didn't have the queen to go there one hound here, this hound will actually move through. I really wanted to move to the left air defense. It's unfortunate the hound went the other side. But we're gonna add more group of loons here. Wait till that ice hound reach the other area, then go with those loons. This warden ability gives you that extra seconds that you can push your focus on something else. Poison for the CC, that freeze for the back end. I have the rage in the core and it's just about multitasking. We are using the spells on the areas that have splash damage we're using the haste on the areas we have more loons and also the champion is still going nicely around that base to get me the defenses and look at how many loons again we have it's insane those cloned loons also gonna help us but guys take a look at my queen and king have you ever seen a lolo because you're gonna see now have you ever seen it that you lose the warden and you lose the royal champion but the king and queen are somehow alive. This is just the beauty of a Sui Lol attack, but that's it. Let's go on to a diamond base, because the diamond bases could be a bit tough with plannings. It just depends on the style of the diamond, but hopefully I'll be able to explain it nicely to you. So let's move on. Up next, we have that diamond and guys, yeah, this one is gonna be tough because guess what? My king doesn't go to where I wanted him to go. My queen is not going to get me what I wanted her to get. And we are basically going to try to save the attack, okay? So I'm seeing the flame finger value on the left side. And here's where I really wanted the king to go into this entire alleyway of the single inferno. So I really wanted to funnel the top side. But yeah, I kind of underestimated that Ricochet Cannon HP. Okay, we're not gonna get it funnel. So the king will end up actually never going in. This is where I'm going to use that skeleton to tank for it a bit. Now the queen ability is already going to go off. I really wanted to keep it alive. But yeah, guys, honestly, if I'm being honest, I really wanted that queen to get the town hall. I know it's crazy, but she's getting decent value now this is where the king ability will go off and again when you see the king doesn't go where you want him to go or the queen doesn't go where you want her to go send the champion we're gonna go ahead with the lolo on the lower side with the ice hound because there is a lot of damage that means the ice hound will actually pop beautifully now i'm poisoning in front of the champion but everything else is lower side because take a look at the witches they will switch target to the closest thing available we're gonna go with the hound on the left CC comes out on the left side as well and here's where I'm gonna clone closer to the scatter shot unfortunately my clone didn't perfectly get but still we're gonna clone a few more loons adding to our main group of loons adding those top side with the haste trying to get that air defense because that is the only defense that could cause us some troubles and now you can see how many spells I'm playing here this is the beauty again of Sui Lalo and what I enjoy the most is the control you have with your Lalo, especially with the amount of loons. We have 30 and you have a clone. So basically you have nearly 40 loons with your Lalo with two hounds and an ice hound. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let us know what else you want to see in the channel. Take care and peace.